Havewood Green, I'm Alex, I live here in Worcester and I'm actually a student at the University of Bath and I'm working on placement year, uh, working from home here in Worcester. As a fun fact, the pastor I have at my church in Bath is actually Paul Mallard, so some of you may know him because he used to be a pastor here at Wood Green. I wasn't brought up in a Christian household and I never thought I knew any Christians until I came to university. I think it's fair to say that I never really considered God and I certainly didn't think that he existed in any organised religion. Um, that said, I was relatively open and I had a softened heart to ask questions. Um, in particular, I asked one of my flatmates a lot of questions. She had a faith in Jesus that really intrigued me and I, I asked more, I wanted to find out more. Um, I asked all sorts of questions, but I, I quickly tunneled in on suffering. I did not understand that at all. It didn't make sense how an all-powerful God who loved me and knew me could let bad things happen. Um, I answered that we have free will and it made perfect sense that we as humans make bad decisions all the time and that we can cause pain on others and ourselves. But natural disasters and illness, they didn't make sense to me. Um, after a few weeks, I did get one answer from someone um, and a verse from Isaiah, which really shocked me. Um, but it made everything that I'd been investigating make a lot more sense. And I started thinking all these crazy Christians, they might be onto something. Um, I was invited to church a lot and I didn't go very often at all. But one time when I did go, um, everything flipped and I remember realising that Jesus was so compassionate and he really cared for me and I knew I needed a saviour so I asked God to forgive my sins and to accept me and I was saved. So much has changed since I've become a Christian. Um, now I'm in a relationship with a God who sent his own son to die for me, bearing my own guilt and shame in my place so that by his own wounds I could be healed. Um, knowing that has made me long for God's will to be done in my life and I love to share the good news that Jesus brings. I particularly loved the summer after I became a Christian. Um, that's really where I started to grow in my relationship with God and God's glory through the cross became so much more evident to me. Reading the fig tree parable was probably the biggest turning point, explained to me exactly how fitting it was um, for me to be cut down. You know, what farmer doesn't have the right to cut down a tree that isn't bearing the fruit it was specifically grown to bear? Um, it made so much sense for me to be cut down. But because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, I've been given a second chance. And that through Jesus' death and resurrection, I've been given life. Mm -hmm.